Hi and welcome to another install of the Barrett 5 family. Unboxing this time of the Canon G7X Mark II Vlogger Kit. Stick with us and I hope you enjoy. And as we take a look at the box from the outset here, this is the box. Uh, it arrived in the outer packaging to contain the whole vlogging kit. The camera box itself is much smaller and inside uh, because this comes with a couple of added extras then the box is much bigger slight giveaway if you look at the bottom right there as you can see that this device will be compatible with your ios or android devices so you can link your camera directly to your smartphone for ease of transfer as we look at the side of the box we can see it's the canon powershot g7x mark ii vlogger kit coming with the canon camera the 32 gig memory card and the gorilla pod tripod Looking at what the camera provides, and it provides the Digic 7 Digital Imaging Integrated Circuit 7, uh, the 1.0 CMOS, which is the, um, the processor inside that basically converts light into an electrical signal for your camera, a focal point ratio of 1.8 to 2.8, which should provide you with some of those slower pictures if you wanted to take um, pictures of the waterfalls, for example, you should be able to get the water falling. Records at 1080 full HD. Um, at in the UK we use PAL, so it'd be 25 frames per second or 50 frames per second, depending on what you want to set it up at. We will talk a little bit more about this as we go through, but not too much. This is only an unboxing video. It's not a review of the camera. We're just having a look to see what it is. You can see on the side there it tells you what the contents is, and we'll have a look at these all in turn as they come out of the box. And as we look here, I'll be using Shannon to help me out. She'll be opening the box, showing us everything as it comes out. And we'll go through it all, each in turn. Take a good look, uh, just to see what there is. So, from the top of the box there, as we can see, is Canon's Guide to Vlogging. Uh, just a little pamphlet. Uh, the Gorilla Pod itself, in its own little box. Uh, as you can see down the side there, different ways, different methods of how you can use this kind of tripod to help you out while you're out and about doing the vlogging as opposed to using a main stand tripod. Uh, the Canon camera itself, there's the normal box you'll get in if you went into a, a local camera store without the vlogging kit. These white boxes that Shannon's just pulled out to the side there are just packaging boxes, there's nothing in them, it's just spaces to stop it getting knocked about. And the 32 gig uh, SD card, this is uh, an SDHC, the high recording capability, this one provides uh, up to 8 megabyte a second to record, therefore making sure we get the recording onto the memory card with a, a few glitches as possible, because if it can't process the data that goes on it quick enough, that could affect your image. So just turn the Gorilla Box around there for Shannon. Uh, if we can get a look at it there, it's the Gorilla Pod 500. And as we were saying, you saw on the side, it can be used in various different forms and methods. What I would say about this Gorilla Pod is it's weighty. It's very weighty, but that's a good thing. Uh, when you set it down as a protection cap for the feet, so just for delivery to stop the box getting crushed. Um, yes, when you pull the tripod apart and you set it down, it's very heavy it's a good weight so there's less chance of it moving if you don't want it to of it getting knocked over or nudged is um, I think that's a really good piece uh, normally when I get a tripod of this style they're not quite as robust the top is adjustable it does move left right forward and back what I would say is it's very stiff but that's in a good way because if you've got your camera set then you don't want it moving or just getting nudged if there's a little breeze so it's perfectly set for that I've actually been quite impressed with this as soon as it come with the kit and as you can see you set the feet down there and there's your Gorilla Pod ready to go really happy to try out this tripod looking forward to it very much I think it will provide a really decent service when you can't use your main tripod when you're out and about and it fit nice and lastly out of the box is the SD card 32 gig. Uh, SD high capacity which comes part of the vlogger kit to help you get up and started before you have to go out and uh, purchase one these things that you maybe would have possibly forgotten about not necessarily however as part of a vlogger kit goes it's an important piece of kit to have last thing you want to do is set everything up and then realize because this camera has no internal uh, memory or storage that you've got no way of taking any photos or going out and vlogging
south now we can see from the front it's the PowerShot G7X Mark II the one we've all come here to see and review as we look at the rear end of the box you can see some of the settings that I briefly talked about earlier you can see it's the Zizek 7 processor it's the uh, 1.0 CMOS uh, additional to that it's a 20.1 megapixel camera as we can see there we just drag it across uh, it has a 24 millimeter wide 4.2 optical zoom lens we've talked about the apertures and the fact it's Wi-Fi certified and the fact we can use that to connect to laptops to uh, tablets to smart devices and I have already set this up uh, to my iPhone which went very well uh, I'll talk briefly later about trying to get it to Windows 10, which wasn't so smooth. However, as we look into the box there, we can see what on the face of it looks like a very weighty instruction document. Actually, only a few pages of that are to your relevant country, because as you can see, just listed down the side there, all the different languages it's in. Um, it's not overly extensive when it comes to the usage. Uh, the power cable will just come out there to the side. As we lift this crate out there, we'll put that to one side for a second and remove the rest of the packaging. That is the uh, battery charger compartment, which you'll plug the power cable into to charge the battery. Uh, one battery in the pack, and there's one wrist strap in the pack, which can go on the side of the camera to keep it nice and taut within your grip. Uh, if you're taking any risque photos, shall we say, dangling off the sides, try and get that important shot then you want to make sure you've got that wrist strap on to look after you. Out of that little cradle then, we've got the uh, polythene style bag. As we open that, you can see the camera body itself. Uh, first impressions, good weight, good size, and the grips on the sides of the camera here uh, are particularly good. They're very comfortable, very ergonomically designed. You can see where they've gone with this. So as we look at the camera then, there's just a view of the rear screen that comes out and it's quite well adjustable. Uh, it's very good. You can get the views from that rear um, camera viewfinder from just about any direction. Look at the top, you've got what you'd expect from um, modern digital cameras. Your AV, which is your aperture settings, uh, your shutter speed on TV, program uh, under P, uh, your hybrid auto, which is an automatic setting. Uh, between the video recording and the camera uh, photo shooting which I, I have found to be most useful uh, you also have full auto for recording portrait mode camera mode custom modes manual modes it is a very well loaded camera uh, to the side just down halfway you can see the wireless that's a WPS button so if you're looking to connect this device to anything then you press that button for connection and on the other side the flash has just popped up and if you see the dots to the left of that flash then that's where the microphone is within the throttle body itself moving on there's just a close-up of the um, battery pack that you'll put the battery in and an overall look of what come in that box which for the price I think is pretty good. Our price point was £429, which was the same as the camera on its own without the tripod and without the memory card. So as we recap the G7X Mark II unboxing, first impressions, um, everything that come in the kit is of decent quality. Uh, I will say that the price point I thought was very good from where it was a couple of years ago. They have held their prices very well, but just very recently they dropped off. Um, a couple of points I would say for the camera, um, if you're thinking of purchasing one, is there is no external microphone port for the G7X Mark II. So you have to use the microphone on top, which as we said earlier was next to the flash. Uh, I had a quick go on that earlier on. It wasn't too bad, actually. The sound picked up fairly well. So when I'm out and about and I do a review with this camera, we shall go and have a look. Uh, we'll test that microphone out on top to see just how well it feeds the sound back. Certainly if it's a slightly breezy day, uh, I'm not so sure yet. Might have to get a cover for the microphone uh, to stop it picking up the wind. What else would I say? As a vlogging camera, it come with one battery. The battery life um, was okay. Uh, I didn't think it was anything spectacular. So one of my immediate thoughts would be turning to buying another battery, probably another two batteries. 
because I'm not sure they would last if this camera was on and recording all day so I'll certainly get another couple but that's just my early opinions if you've got any ideas please let us know in the comments below please click subscribe like the channel we'd love to hear anything you've got to say about what we're doing so far and thank you very much